Good morning, ladies and gents. Our dog here. Welcome to the hunt. I got a super exciting hunt for you. We're kind of recreating the uh, detect to survive hunt. Uh, with a, we're not going to do all the detect to survive part, but um, yeah, I'm going to kind of duplicate the hunt. I'm here down in uh, southern British Columbia, and we are going to hit it today. We got some exciting spots. So this is the first spot I'm going to hit right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that Canadian flag way down there, but that's the uh, border to the EU, United States. So we're gonna start at this spot um, after, we're gonna do a couple spots around town and then I've got probably the beach I'm most excited about hitting. Never been hunted and uh, it's in a really cool location. So we will get to that. Uh, let's get after it. This is gonna be a two day adventure. On to the hunt. I got it in the scoop. Oh, I had a feeling, I had a feeling. Let's start with a beaver. That's cool. Lucky beaver. Look at that. This was a, a um, iron tone actually that was uh, just chirping into the mids. So oh, it's still connected. Oh, it's been broke a couple of times. It looks like. Yeah, that's uh, bling. I could see the copper poking through, but uh, that's not bad for a fourth target. Cool. Big high tone here. Possibly an American coin. Oh, now it's lower. Eighteen. I like that. Too high for a pull tab. I got it. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. I should keep my voice down. There's lots of people here. Look at that. Hmm. I'm afraid that's not going to be precious metals. I don't think. Although 18 would be good for gold that, that uh, I don't know, it's possible. It looks costumey to me. It's just a little too shiny, but I could be wrong. I don't see any marks. All right, well, we'll check that one out in the wrap up. Nice find. Well, haven't had anything in about uh, 45 minutes, so that's a nice, actually last thing to chain, I think. Let's keep going. Another uh, beaver from the center of the earth. Whoo! I'll just film the finds. It's it's too much for uh, to record all the digging. There's a toonie. Starting to get some of the bigger clad. That's good. I'm not sure what we got here. Piece of jewelry maybe that, or some kind of clip. Hmm, all right. All right, we got a coin spill here. Those are fun. Buck 25. Guy's like, hey, that's our dog. What's he doing? <laughs> He's living his best life down to the lake. Okay, I thought this was a coin. It is another ear gauge. Man, I am... Uh, ever since I lost that one, I'm being uh, tortured by them. <laughs> okay. Uh, they don't seem to stay in your ears very good, is what I'm noticing. Whistle, okay. Hey, we got my old buddy here. Okay, we got something cool here. I just went through a patch of pennies that you, uh, like you read about. So I thought this was another one, 25. That is gonna be a ring. Yeah, 
and I would be willing to bet it's silver. It says something on there, that's cool. All right, two rings out of this spot. I'm almost finished this spot, and then we're gonna go try another one. Let's keep going. Okay, that's a new one. I never should have found that before, I don't think. This is a new spot, small beach. Should only take me about an hour. Got an 11 here right by the shore though, I just hopped in. Don't see anything. Oh, what is that? Oh wow. Yeah, I never have any luck when it's got texture on the back, but uh, and it's got a white uh, post, which usually isn't good either. All right, that's a cool find though. An earring. Ah, uh, this new beach is some tough digging, but it it is absolutely lousy with clad. I will. Uh, I've already fired a bunch into the pouch, but I will show you the clad pile I've pulled out of here when I'm done, which I'm almost done. I've been here about a half hour. It's a really small spot. Is that a special one? Skiing? It looks like it's a horse. Oh man, my eyes are bad. Yeah, I'll show you this pile when we're done here. Okay, got a piece of chain there. That was an 11. Huh. See if we can get this one together. I don't know what it is, it's a 19 or a 20. All right, we actually got that one. I'm going to uh, switch to the uh, Excalibur here in a minute because uh, I'm going to bounce back and forth today so I can get out to some of the deeper areas. Where is Oh, there. Is that it? No. There's no way we missed that. And high hopes for that one. There it is. What is it? I don't know. Tip to something. Okay, I've been hitting these huge 19s that uh, just sound too good to be true. So that's what they is. That what they are. There's a box of uh, live ammo spilt in here, I guess. All right, there's the clad haul out of this little tiny beach. It's only like 50 feet wide by 100 feet long, maybe. All of that one spot and the earring and five pennies. Not too shabby. All right, this is beach number three. I brought out the rock scoop because I thought it'd be rocky and it's not. It's nice and sandy, but that's okay. There we go. Holy, look at that old boy. That's a quarter. Right on. Old ground, let's keep going. Still just riddled with clad here, but look at how thin this little guy is. Paper thin. Ring up really good. That's a really good sign for this spot. All right, this one's hitting in the high tones this time. Thin one, we'll see if we can get a date off that, but that might be a silver dime. All right, ladies and gents, we got one. Look at that. That was a nine. I should have filmed, it was so clear. That sure looks like gold to me. Little heart with a diamond. It's a little one. That is awesome. Honestly, I knew we were gonna find something at this spot. There's just, it's the ground could not be any more perfect. It's, there's not a bunch of crap signals and falsing and stuff like that. It's just every once in a while you find a target and it, they all sound good here. There's no iron in the ground. Right on. That's awesome. Okay, let's keep going. I'm, I'm rejuvenated. 
I'll just show you what it's like at this beach. It's it's rare to find one like this. It's just nothing. Every tone is clear, and then it's like nothing for a few minutes. Where'd it go? All right, well, it's probably a penny, but just showing you. All right, ladies and gents, this is the one we've been waiting for. So you can see this beautiful beach here. And this beach has never been hunted. This is in a campground that I'm staying tonight. And uh, I did ask for permission. I can only hunt the water because uh, this is native land. So um, yeah, so I have permission to hunt the water and uh, we're gonna smack it. We're gonna get to do as much as I can tonight and maybe finish off in the morning. But uh, it's only about three feet deep out there. So it's perfect all the way up to the buoys. Let's get after it. Quarter there, we haven't made it very far. We've already found some clad. And there's a fair bit of trash, which has to be expected. Another quarter, but it's pretty amazing. Every, about it, every five feet, there's a coin. So there's gotta be something good in here, and we're gonna find it. All right, we got something with a little age here. That is a King George the Sixth Penny. That's a good sign, right in by shore. When does that ever happen? Got a two for one in that scoop. Tuny and a uh, pull tab. Still on the coins, no jewelry yet. Okay, surprisingly, that's our first American quarter. All right, we completely smashed that uh, sectioned off beach. All clad, no jewelry. So we're gonna try this here. We're gonna go down this side here and see what we can get up to. We got about, uh, I don't know, a couple hours of daylight. Let's go. Look at that, sitting right on top. Some kind of keychain, maybe. Willy, that's awesome. Willie Nelson, huh? I love Willie Nelson. Wow, oh, that's pretty cool. The legend himself. Okay, we got something weird here. Where'd it go? There's a pull tab in here, which is why I dug it. Get rid of that. Oh, there it is. I did not, I thought it was a fishing weight. What on earth? That's like a face. What is that? That's a rock. What is that sticking out? That is weird. What a creepy face too. What the heck is that? That is strange. I wonder if that's old. Huh. Okay, I've never found anything like that. That's, I don't even think there's many, any metal on it. Nope. But just dumb luck, it came up in the scoop. Okay, well, I'm creeped out. Weird. All right, let's keep going. Another $2 coin, man. I've never seen so many coins in my life, especially on a beach here. All right, this is not the wrap up, but I thought I'd show you guys. That's just off the campsite beach tonight. That was four hours. So we did about 11 hours of detecting today. That's a lot, I'm feeling it. There's the trash, no lack of that. And there's all the coins, there's that weird head. Willie down there at the bottom. Not bad, I'm surprised we didn't get any jewelry though digging that many uh, targets. But anyway, we'll see you in the morning. We'll continue this hunt. All right, ladies and gents, we are back for day two. We're gonna try this end of the beach. I did the other end the last time I was here. Got some gold out of there. So let's see what we can get out of this side here. And then I'm just gonna hunt my way back. I'm not gonna do the marathon today, but we'll hunt our way back home. Starting the day with a beaver. I think we did that yesterday too. Okay, there's a young Liz Penny. That's a good sign for something older. All right, we got something here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Is 
No, there's no latch on that at all. Yeah, I could see copper through there. That's gonna be blinger, but that's a good find. All right. I guess that's just a zipper pull, maybe? <coughs> All right, well, I've almost killed the, I've uh, been here a couple hours, I've almost killed the Equinox because I tried to charge with a power bank last night and it didn't work. So I'm gonna switch spots and uh, use the Excalibur for a bit. Okay. Let me turn my thing down here. It's Okay, I'm back at the fir very first spot we started at yesterday. And that's a piece of a chain, I guess. Looks like copper. That's a good start, though. That's a good grab for the uh, Excalibur II. Tough to pick up that little stuff sometimes. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the wrap up. Uh, well, as you as you probably figured out, I called it quits early on day two. Uh, I just went too hard on day one. That was a ton of detecting on day one. So I was pretty much over it by day two. So uh, I did a little bit and just called it a day. So let's get on to the wrap up here. Wow, look at this, uh, all this dirty money. Holy, that's a huge clad haul. I don't think it's my biggest um, amount, but it may be the most amount of coins that I've ever dug in a, in a hunt for sure. And uh, I definitely believe that beach has never been hunted. There's just no way there's that many coins in there. And uh, maybe there just hasn't been any jewelry lost in there. So that's possible. Or the other side is maybe I just missed it. So anyway, it was well worth it. It was really fun. The weather was gorgeous and uh, we found some cool stuff. Gold and silver today. So we get $27 in clad. That's really good. Tons of pennies. Um, I don't even know what to tell you about this thing. Maybe somebody else knows what this is. But it is definitely one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Um, and so crazy that, it, that it's not metal. And it just came up in the scoop. I don't know. Um, I might have to bury it somewhere <laughs> to get, get rid of the bad juju. Okay, so we got a key. That's always good. And a bullet shell there. This Willie Nelson thing is awesome. It's from Nashville, Tennessee. From a general store. Willie Nelson general store. That's pretty cool. A uh, couple old pennies. Young Liz. King George the Sixth. This is all bling jewelry here. The uh, I think that uh, chain there is, is usually from a uh, plug to a boat. So you don't lose your plug. Um... Yeah, onto the jewelry. A little bit of bling. Nothing too spectacular. Uh, ear gauge. The uh, That ring is Avon. It's not precious metals. Here's the silver ring. It came out quite nice. Cleaned up. It's not. There's not something written on there. It's just kind of like a zigzag pattern. Very cool. And the hero of the day has got to be the hearts. Little diamond in the middle there, super cool. 1.4 grams of gold, 10K. Very pretty ring. So that is the hunt. Thank you all so much for joining me. See you on the next one.